Hi guys, I'm Shmi and you join me in Portugal where I've been enjoying the press launch of the Mercedes AMG GTR. But I've shot a couple of bonus clips that I'm going to be able to show you right now demonstrating some additional features of the beast of the green hell. We're going to take a quick look around the car here now where it is actually up on the fifth floor of our hotel where we've been enjoying dinner this evening. But this car, the Green Hell Magno Satin Paintwork, the 585 horsepower, four litre twin turbo V8 beast. 700 newton meters of torque engine up front, driven by the rear wheels. This particular car actually is fitted with the track pack. So I can show you very quickly, if we look at the inside, you've got the four point harnesses, you've got the fire extinguisher, and in the boot there, in the rear, you can see the green of the roll cage. But what I want to show you in particular is this dial here in the center. This is the AMG Dynamic Traction Control with nine different driving modes, a feature that's sort of inherited to this car from the GT3 race car. And in particular, we're now going to head back over to Portimao where we experience the car and demonstrate how that works. We're going to throw in some bonus laps. I'm jumping in with Jan Zeifert, AMG GT3 driver, AMG Driving Academy, and he's gonna show us how this traction control mode works. Let's fire the car up. Good, good. So then. Race mode. Yep. And uh, to test the traction control, you have to be in ESP off mode. So switch it completely off. And then you see the lights on. Yep. The standard setting is right in the middle. In the middle of the nine modes. So uh, yeah, it's nine modes. So when you go to the left hand side, it's completely off. When you go up to the right hand side, it's completely on. <laughs> so let's keep it in, in the middle. And this is derived from the technology that I guess is in your GT3 car. It's, it's kind of that, yeah. I mean, the technology comes from GT3, from racing. Yeah. And uh, so it is now for production cars made of. That's really cool. So, for example, when I switch it completely off, now I have it completely yeah. off. And I go in here, for example, turn two. You okay. See, you see, you feel it go very quickly there, yeah. yeah. That's, it's completely off. Yeah. So, uh, I really have to do everything myself, also here. <laughs> so, uh, it's completely off, all up to myself. When I switch it completely on, so on the opposite. So is that completely on, or is that still...? So that's that's still ESP off, so you have no stabilization yeah. to the left and to the right, it's okay. just traction. So when I go, okay, now I'm full on power, now I'm flat out, you see? Yeah, it's flashing it's like away. It's flashing all the time, it's am flat out. Okay. And it's adjusting the, the, the traction. Yeah, 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 so you get a complete visual. Uh, update straight away of how much it's interfering with you as well. Yeah, right. So you can pick your kind of mode. So now, now the mode is like for really driving mode for everybody. You know, yeah. you see, I'm, I'm always flat out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing yeah. is happening. So now I can adjust it back to the middle, which is in these conditions, which is a good mode because now I still have to steer myself, control myself. Yeah. But uh, I think one thing to emphasize is this is actually about performance more than it's about drifting. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's about getting the right balance of grip versus slip. <laughs> Correct, yeah. And so, and as you have nine positions to adjust, it's, it's a really cool feature to really get your own setting on every single track. Yes. So, for example, now I have to really correct the car myself, but yeah. I still have a lot of traction. You see, now I have to still correct. Yeah. But when I go on power, I still have to track it flat out now. Yeah, it, it's already interfering briefly, okay. to manage the car yourself because that's kind of 
of uh, <laughs> that's kind of the um, adjusting you have in the, in the G3 car. Yeah. I love the, the conversation continuing while you're mid-slide. <laughs> it's like I'm not concentrating. I do this in my sleep. <laughs> Pop your Instagram link down below, guys. Go check him out. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and I'm back in the pit lane because I'm going to jump in again with Jan and go for a hot lap. So this should be quite fun and quite exciting. Let's hop in. That's nice and easy to get into. So I've just been driving in the car with the performance seats, but I much prefer the bucket. So, so you're ready to go? Yes, I am. <laughs> Absolutely am. Okay. So we've we got go. the data up. What are we in? Race mode, traction in mode six. Yeah, so let's stay a little bit in traction control to help a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool car to, to drive around the track. 
I mean, even even through my bum in the passenger seat, I can feel where the sort of balance is a little bit. It's a, it's a very, very rewarding car. There's a lot of feedback from it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I have to give the car back as well. <laughs> Sad times. When's your next race? The next race will be in March next year. Yeah. March 17 on the fabulous Nordschleife. In the AMG GT3. In the GT3, right, yeah. Preparing the 24 hour race. Okay. To 2017. I mean, it's the fifth anniversary of uh, AMG and we, we tried to push hard. Oh yeah. To, to repeat our success from this year. Sure, well, good luck with it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for that ride. Thank you. And here we are. Not a bad experience then at all. Checking out the different traction control modes and also going for the hot lap in what is an unbelievably quick car. And in fact, a car that now holds a lap time at the Nürburgring Nordschleife of under seven minutes and 11 seconds by Sport Auto, which is utterly ridiculous. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the footage. It's been an amazing trip. Do check out my full sort of drive and feedback, thoughts, impressions at the wheel of the car, both on the track and out on the road as well. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little extra video. That is it for now. I will catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.